Okay, so in this video, we are going to briefly run through each of the acid-base disorders that we talked about in the previous video. We'll start with metabolic acidosis. This is caused by decreasing the arterial blood by carbonate concentration to below 24 millimolar and to a pH of less than 7.37. This is caused by an increase of fixed acids. All acids except for CO2, which is a volatile acid, are fixed. Examples of fixed acid are like lactic acid and ketone bodies. Um, also caused by a loss of excess bicarbonate from the body, and this may be due to di diarrhea or deep vomiting um, because intestinal contents are basic. Also, uh, kidney failure could cause this, which would decrease hydrogen secretion so that there would be an increased fixed acids, and it would also decrease bicarbonate recovery and synthesis, resulting in excess bicarbonate loss. Some of the ways that the body compensates for this is by buffering, so the bicarbonate decreases. Also, there would be an increased alveolar ventilation, so therefore a decrease in the partial pressure of CO2 of arterial blood, and this would occur within seconds to minutes. Also, if the kidneys are functional, um, they will increase hydrogen secretion and bicarbonate recovery and synthesis. Next, we have metabolic alkalosis, and this is due to an increase in the arterial blood by carbonate concentration to above 24 millimolar and to a pH greater than 7.42. This is caused by loss of fi fixed acid due to shallow vomiting, so um, just the stomach contents, which are acidic. And also, it could be caused by ingestion of excess bicarbonate. In order to compensate for this, the, the bicarbonate would increase to buffer the system. Also, there would be decreased alveolar ventilation, which would be the rapid effect of this compensation. Therefore, an increase of the partial pressure of CO2 of arterial blood would occur. Also, a decreased hydrogen secretion and bicarbonate recovery synthesis by the kidney would occur, which is kind of a slower effect. Now let's talk about respiratory acidosis. This is caused by an increase of the partial pressure of CO2 of arterial blood to greater than 40 millimeters of mercury and to a pH of less than 7.37. This is due to accumulation of carbon dioxide. Um, this is caused by damage to the lungs, chest wall, or nerves controlling the lungs, or damage to the respiratory centers of the brain, or inhibition of these centers by drugs or toxins, so sedatives, alcohol, etc. The compensation for this is increased hydrogen secretion and bicarbonate recovery synthesis by the kidney. Last of all, we have respiratory alkalosis. So this is caused by a decrease of the partial pressure of CO2 of arterial blood and um, a pH of greater than 7.42 due to increased loss of CO2 due to hyperventilation. So this is caused by damage to the brain or stimulants like speed or voluntary hyperventilation even. The compensation for this is decreased hydrogen secretion and bicarbonate recovery and synthesis by the kidney. Just to review, remember that the pH of body fluids is regulated by three mechanisms. First, buffers in body fluids that reduce the changes in pH due to an addition of acids or bases. Then the respiratory system, which controls CO2 levels in body fluids. And last of all, the kidneys, which control bicarbonate in body fluids and acid excretion. To end, take some time to describe to yourself or to a friend how these different situations might happen.